With her pleasant demeanor, this cartoon beaver may resemble a ball of pink cotton candy. But on the inside, she is anything but sweet. It might have taken 20 years, but Loopy has become a social media star. Entire pop-up stores like this one have opened up in her honor in China. Lupi is the unofficial mascot of the so-called Dagong Run, China's laborers, many of whom are disgruntled. In this meme, Lupi can be seen smiling and wishing her colleagues good morning while holding handcuffs. This meme shows Lupi as a smiling, diligent worker. But on the inside, she's a seething mass of discontent, driven crazy by a heavy workload. And in this meme, Lupi says she'd rather eat bitter melon, because even that would be sweeter than her life now. So many eyes are on the sardonic superstar in China, that it might be hard to believe that Lupi was first conceived as a supporting character for a kid's show in South Korea. This is the story of how two decades after her creation, Lupi found new fame in Chinese pop culture. Lupi first appeared in this South Korean cartoon, Pororo the Little Penguin, in 2003. According to the production studio that created her, Lupi was meant to be shy and sensitive. Cut to 2019, when a distorted version of Lupi made the rounds on the internet in South Korea. Then the COVID-19 pandemic hit. Months of quarantine and social restrictions left many people feeling helpless. Social media became the go-to place for them to gather. And memes became the go-to vehicle for self-expression. Lupi was slowly returning to the public eye, and her original creators began to take notice. In 2020, Lupi officially embraced modernity when her production studio gave her all new social media accounts and a brand new persona. This alter ego was dubbed Zanmang Lupi, which means small and cute Lupi in Korean. In this introduction video on Instagram, Zanmang Lupi says, <laughs> Lupi was no longer playing second fiddle to the main protagonist. She has become a star in her own right. Lupi가또 in August 2023, Zanmang Lupi took on the role of an intern, vlogging about her experiences on YouTube. She was nowhere near the picture-perfect image of success. Instead, she was proof that the internal struggle was far more relatable to the masses. <laughs> In three years, the Zanmang Lupi account amassed nearly 2 million subscribers. Many of the new Lupi fans happened to be young people in China. The character, which seemed soft on the outside but had more to say deep down, resonated among them. 
然后在织的过程中会涉及到一些呃很多 l o 的逐渐就出现了，比如说明星和他一起跳舞，然后一些表情呀什么的。然后后来呢，我发现国内也逐渐 l o 也变得多了起来，名创优品呀，以及一些店呀、一些联名啊，逐渐都多了起来。But what were these young people keeping bottled up? For one thing, a rift has been growing within China's workforce. China has long had a culture of long working hours. That work ethic helped put an end to decades of poverty under Mao Zedong. After China opened up to the world and reformed its economy in the late 1970s, in the following decades, two things bolstered China's reputation for being the world's factory: its sheer number of cheap laborers and its lack of regulatory compliance. But that work ethic also grew into excess. China's tech sector became notorious for its 996 work culture. Workers were basically required to work from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week. That's almost double the standard 40-hour weeks in most countries. But Gen Z is fast becoming the dominant force in China's labor market. Their expectations have been at odds with the status quo. The year 2019 saw the first protests against the 996 culture, and since then, dissatisfaction has only grown. Many joined a movement known as Tangping or Lying Flat. With it, gone were the ideals of buying a home or starting a family. Instead, it was all about doing the bare minimum to scrape by. We, before that, in that kind of place, in the office, is very emphasized on the individual goals, or the work objectives. This kind of situation has changed to what we today may encourage people more. 导致这种关于情感的需求和认同，呃，以及人们要在今天的沟通当中付出的大量的情感劳动，其实也决定了年轻人如何在他的职场当中去建构这种自我认同。The older generations were more likely to compromise or even tolerate mistreatment in the workplace, but as far as work was concerned, Gen Z job seekers were largely set on their priorities. 我父母其实更希望我能够回到家乡那边参加国家的公务员考试，也就是国考。他们觉得可能这种公务员考试能够获得更加稳定的收入来源吧。但是呢，在我当时毕业之后找工作那几个月，我其实更加关注的是工作本身能否匹配我自己的兴趣，呃，同时也包括了工作能够存在多大的这样的一个自由度。工作的一个合理的弹性，工作的灵活程度吧。然后，当然了，还有我也很关注的就是工作中我和同事之间的人际关系的相处能否融洽，同时这家公司的这个企业文化是否符合我自己内心的这样的一个预期吧。就比如说，有些公司他非常喜欢让人去加班，对吧？我个人是不喜欢加班工作的。我同样也不会太相信老板给我们画的饼，给我们画的一些所谓的未来会更好的发展的这种大饼。所以呢，我并不会让自己完全的陷入到工作之中去，尽管我还只是一个刚刚毕业的大学生。Yet a growing number of the country's youngest workers are finding themselves in a bind. China has had an uneven post-pandemic recovery. The initial economic boost from the country's reopening has begun to slow down, and along with it, jobs. At the same time, a record number of people were seeking to enter the workforce in 2023. That year, the country's monthly jobless rate among those aged 16 to 24 rose every month until it hit a record high in June, with more than one in five out of work. 担心啊，肯定你要是往那个方面想，那肯定非常非常担心。其实身边朋友都那么说，都说毕业肯定就是失业，嗯，但是具体的，毕竟我现在才大一嘛，也没有什么具体的想法。我觉得还是等到大二、大三的时候再具体做考虑吧。With jobs harder to come by, many turn to doing odd gigs to make ends meet, especially in big cities like Beijing and Shanghai. Others have been forced to rethink their priorities, staying at less than ideal jobs. And having to suck it up, so instead they've gone online to vent their frustrations. In the work process, I can't 
，呃，直接引起什么冲突，如果真的有什么不满的话，所以我可能就会用一些表情和同事呀、同学聊天的过程中来发泄一些我的一些情绪，比如说一些嗯表面平静呀、内心发疯呀，以及阴阳怪气的一些表情。比如说那个开摸摸我的摸鱼搭子这样一个表情，就是可能我在工作呀、学习中想要摆烂了，觉得累了，就会和我的朋友发这个表情来发泄一下我的情绪。然后这个就是非常常见的这样一个阴阳怪气的表情。比如说在工作中呀、学习中呀，难免会遇到一些让自己不舒服的这样一种事情，但是你又不可能。呃，当着同事呀、啊、领导的面发泄出来，可能就会私下呀和自己的朋友聊天的时候，呃，稍微吐槽一下。Nowadays, young Chinese aren't only using loopy to express themselves. This meme features Teletubby's character Po being driven mad by her boss. This one depicts the Barbie character from a series in the early 2000s. In it, she proudly proclaims how she has left someone on red, and the list goes on. And will most likely grow as China's youth continue to be fed up. The country is expected to keep breaking its own record of university students graduating in the coming years. And as Gen Z takes over the workforce, it almost seems a sure bet to expect more tongue-in-cheek memes online.